Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a, another uh, week of Business Spotlight, where we feature a business or a nonprofit um, every week on Monday. This week, we are featuring a nonprofit, uh, the Iowa Ceramic Center and Glass Studio. And here to tell us more is the Executive Director, Ellen. Hello, um, I'm the Executive Director here. Um, my name is Ellen Kleckner. You will often see me around the studio or around our district, which I am a big fan of. Um, yeah. So, so Ellen, do you want to tell us uh, what the Ceramic Center and Glass Studio is and what you guys do? So um, we are a community-based art space. Um, we've been here for um, actually 10 years and we're celebrating our 10th anniversary October 5th for having a big party and hoping that everyone will come out and celebrate with us. Um, we, though, have been around as a, a community of artists for almost 40 years now as a nonprofit serving on the city of Cedar Rapids with our creativity. So we are really um, a space for community and creativity to meet um, in Cedar Rapids. Great. So we offer, um, we have classes, we have everything from weekly classes that meet um, for eight weeks in a row every um, Monday night, or we have just, a, we have, every weekend we have something happening um, on a Saturday. So we have a lot of family programming that happens on Saturdays. We also do a lot of different um, events just throughout the weeks. So we do birthday parties, we do um, corporate team building events. And then one of our um, really amazing things that we do is we have um, a resident artist program. So we bring artists from around the country to come and work with our community here in Cedar Rapids. For one to two years, they're really the, um, a vital part of our organization, and they end up being the ones who, um, who teach our classes and teach our courses. So if you look through um, our classes, we offer something different each session. So this session, um, we always have wheel classes, we all, which is a, a favorite of ours here. Um, but we are, next session, we're teaching um, tile making. Cool. And, um, Right now we're teaching teapots, so we're always kind of, we always have a specialty class as well as really the basic understanding of um, clay or glass. So we have um, glass fusing here as well. We're a really wonderful program. Um, so, or if you're also just an art lover, you can come and see our gallery. We have a great gallery space and um, the first Thursday of every month, we're part of the Nubo, um, the first Thursday art walk that's both in um, Nubo and um, Czech Village, and we always have an opening from five to seven, and so we have an exhibition going on, and it's a really fun way to meet artists, see what's happening in our community, um, and also even just have a chance to walk through our gallery, um, as well as our studio. There's always something cool being created yeah. in our space. It's very awesome. I yeah. have uh, seen firsthand some of the kids' classes, and uh, Barb, our uh, assistant, her, uh, Kiddos yes, love to take the art, art great stuff. love to see them make, uh, make, do artwork and love seeing yeah. all the kids running through. Um, so Ellen, can you tell us a bit about yourself? How, how long have you oh, been sure. here? What, what brought you here? Are you originally from here? So um, I came to Cedar Rapids. I'm in my fourth year now here at the Iowa Storing Center and Glass Studio. And um, I have family in, in Iowa and in the area. And so I actually was able to, um, after school, move back to the region to take on this position. Um, and I um, have my education in ceramics. And um, I have always loved community studios. And I actually first, I took my very first class in a community studio similar to this one here. And so 10 years later, it feels really awesome to be able to be the leader of a community like this. Great. So great. Yeah. Um, so, do you guys have any? You mentioned your uh, ten-year anniversary, but do you have anything coming up here in the next uh, month or so um, that you would like to talk about or promote? Yeah. Well, we are now um, we're on the tail end of finishing um, our summer classes, so we still have three weeks of summer camp going for kids, which is really um, the funnest time here at the studio, where we get to have really great energy from. You know, so that's really the thing that is our highlight right now. Um, we're going to have that through the first part of August. So we have one day, three day, five day summer camps. And then just in September, the first week of September, we start our new session of classes. So that's going to be something to look out for. We're going to release those classes coming up next week. 
Um, and then we have a whole bunch of just kind of fun projects happening. The first, um, the first Thursday in August, we're gonna have um, our Wednesday glass class. Um, it's gonna have an exhibition in our gallery. Oh, great. And then we'll have another exhibition later on um, in August of um, two of our really awesome resident artists, um, Joyce Bolt and um, Lars Bolt will be having their exhibition in our okay. space. So um, yeah, and on the 14th of September, um, we're having a bit of a birthday celebration along with the Cherry Building's 100th anniversary celebration. So for us, it was really cool because yeah. our 10th anniversary coincides with the Cherry Building 100th anniversary. That's so great. So, yeah, you know, we always have something going on and the best way to find out about what we're doing is really sign up for our email newsletter. We send out two a month. And um, I guess the other really wonderful thing that we're looking forward to this Saturday is we're having a big celebration um, of our Shifting Ground project, which we're working with a whole bunch of different wonderful community uh, partners with, and we're, um, we're work it's two weeks of workshops with um, different communities in Cedar Rapids, working with storytelling and, um, and clay, and we're gonna be having that celebration right here in the Cherry Building Common area, and it'll be from one to four this Saturday. Well, yeah. So, um, one of the other things I would like to ask you is, so as the Main Street District, we are, we'd like to say we're one district, two neighborhoods, New Bohemia yeah. and Czech Village. We're currently standing in the Cherry Building, which is located in New Bohemia, but we like to hear um, what is your favorite business or what do you like to, who do you like to partner with in Czech Village? Oh, I my favorite personally we also, i love lion bridge we often if we have any out of town guests we love to take them there um a resident artist it's one of our favorite places to go and have a beer have a meal um personally i love tag that's my new favorite here yeah. um it really is really good but the um the other really cool thing that we love doing with them as community partner is um, about every other month we'll do a stein making workshop at lion bridge and it's a super fun workshop it's a chance to um taste some of their awesome beer and then actually make your own stein. So, so we make it there and then we come back here and fire it in our kilns, which is one of the things that makes us a really special yeah. um, organization and entity is that we have these great kilns and ability to fire in all different types of ways um, for glass and ceramics. So I'd say that's probably personally one of my favorite places to go and also it's one of our really great community partners here in the district that we love. Great. Well, Ellen, thanks for talking with no us problem. today. And uh, again, we appreciate nonprofits like you guys and people who promote the arts. And uh, thanks for meeting with us. Thank you so much for coming down and taking a look at what we have here.